a gas goes through a cycle which looks like this. So this line passes through the origin. We need to find the efficiency of the cycle if temperature varies twofold. So we know in this cycle, the minimum temperature is going to be here and maximum temperature is going to be here. Because in this part alone, heat is gained. And these are the two isochoric and isobaric processes where the temperature will reduce in both the processes. So here the minimum temperature is there, here the maximum. So if we take the temperature here is T, here the temperature will be tau times T. So if this is T, this is tau times T, tau times T. Now I have written the temperature here, but we don't know it yet. Also this volume also we don't know it yet. So by now we only know that this temperature is T and this is tau T. And heat is gained here and heat is lost in these two processes. So our efficiency is 1 minus Q2 plus Q3 by Q1. Now for both these processes, if we want to find Q2 and Q3, we need to know the temperatures. And we only know this temperature and this temperature. So we need to know this temperature also. So for that, let's make use of this process so that we get the ratios of volume. And from there, we can get the ratios of temperatures. So for this process, we can see P is proportional to V. So let's start from there, which gives P V S power minus one is equal to constant. And as discussed, we need the ratios of volume. So let's get the equation in terms of temperature and volume. So this equation becomes T V S power minus T is equal to constant. So now if you put the values of uh, T1 and T2, we get the ratio of V2 and V1, which is root tau. So if this is V, then this is root tau times V. And now, because we know the ratio of volume, we can uh, talk about the ratio of temperatures because this is isobaric process. So if this is V and this is root tau V, then if this is T, this is root tau times T. So now we know all the temperatures. So we can find the efficiency. Q2 isochoric, so NCV delta T, Q3, isobaric, NCP delta T, Q1, polytropic with polytropic constant as minus 1. So for that, the heat is N0 C into delta T and C is R into 1 upon gamma minus 1 minus 1 upon N minus 1 and N here is minus 1. So we put that and simplify this equation and we will get our answer.